So, uh, assignment number two for Python uh, mentorship program. Um, as you know, uh, within our first assignment, we did uh, Python related code. Uh, but for this one, we, uh, we will have a Django related assignment. And basically it will be related to our Django project, sample Django project called uh, DevHub. Uh, but before we start, I want to give some uh, basic information if you just start with a mentorship. So basically for mentorship, we have our uh, uh, GitHub repository. Please watch and start this repository. And also we have a website. I will put all the links in the description. And uh, in this website, you can uh, find step-by-step -step, uh, explanations for each uh, uh, mentorship-related videos. And the last one was uh, step five, code review for assignment number one. And we had also our assignment, uh, yeah, first assignment. I will update this uh, website when we have new videos. Also, you can yeah, subscribe to, to this uh, page so you can get all these updates uh, automatically. And now uh, let's start with assignment. As I explained, it will be Django related. And uh, as a base uh, Django project, we will use DevHub. It is also part of Coder Vlogger. You can find this repository uh, on Coder Vlogger's account. Uh, please also watch and start so we can attract more people. And basically, uh, for uh, little information about, about DevHub, DevHub is our uh, example project. It is open source. Anyone can join and send their uh, pull requests and etc. And we will use this uh, Dev, DevHub for our mentorship program. And I will give uh, tasks uh, based on this uh, project. If you don't know uh, what is DevHub or you have a very little information on Django, uh, you can check this uh, playlist. Here you can find all information about the dev app. Uh, this is the first video, this is the second video. Uh, and also you can find uh, some more information. I highly recommend this tutorial. Uh, it's only uh, Django related. Uh, so check all these videos if you don't have any information on Django or uh, dev app. Uh, basically what we will have as a assignment, uh, as a tasks, they are described in uh, in tasks of uh, DevHub repository. So that's our assignments, as, uh, so our tasks uh, for Django. Uh, but uh, DevHub is a rep uh, separate repository and uh, uh, and pr probably we will have more people for men mentorship. So from now, I want to separate assignments for Python mentorship from uh, DevHub, uh, DevHub repository, so we can have them in parallel. So if someone interested in only in DevHub, they, they can send pull requests only for DevHub. But if you are uh, interested, more interested in Python mentorship, at least for the first time, uh, you can also solve the same uh, tasks for uh, DevHub project, for the Django project, but within uh, but within uh, Python, Python, uh, Python mentorship program. So, and for this, what I will do, uh, I will have uh, versions uh, for our DevHub repository. Uh, and the reason why I am doing this, because uh, by time we will have more features within our DevHub repository, but someone can join our Python mentorship uh, sometime later. So they can uh, follow all the steps uh, as for now. So we will have some uh, versions and if someone joins paid Python mentorship, they can start from the same point as, as, as uh, all of you. So uh, for assignment number uh, two, I will create a version number. Uh, if you don't understand uh, what I mean, uh, just follow these uh, steps. I, you will see what I mean. Uh, for now, I will just uh, create a new version for DevHub and then copy paste it into our Python mentorship. So uh, let's create a version. It will be version 010. Uh, it is not the last one. Uh, it is uh, this commit. Because in my last commits, I already solved uh, task number one uh, for uh, assignment number two for Python mentorship. So you can check this uh, uh, task. You can check how I did this uh, task by watching this video, which is this video. Uh, in this video, I solve first task. And your task is to solve the first task. You can see as an example this video and then continue solving other uh, other tasks. That's basically our assignment number two. So 
uh, you can uh, solve uh, task number one uh, as I did, just to make sure that you understand, you have a proper project structure, etc. And also you can continue uh, with these uh, tasks. Uh, I will copy paste it in our mentorship repository, but for now let's just uh, create uh, release title, same as version uh, number. Uh, I will add some information later. Is it pre-release, uh, publish release? Uh, and then after I release this, I will uh, download the source code and move it to uh, to our uh, to our um, Python mentorship repository. So assignments. Uh, and then uh, assignment to uh, let's rename this assignment assignment one. So and in assignment two we will have our uh, I am copy pasting it from another folder. So we will have def uh, version zero uh, one zero. And when you will solve this uh, assignment. You can uh, you can fork this repository. You can fork this uh, mentorship repository, and then continue with uh, with all these steps. Uh, so let's continue uh, adding this to our uh, repository. Uh, I will open my terminal. Uh, let's make it bigger, and I will just uh, send these uh, changes to GitHub. So for this, let's move to repository, coder vlogger, it is Python mentorship. Uh, let's check JIT status. Uh, yeah, we have all these files. Uh, I will add this, all these files to my repository. Then make a commit uh, saying that uh, preparation for assignment two. Uh, and then I will push uh, to uh, GitHub. Okay, it says that we have some updates on updates on uh, on GitHub. I will first uh, get these updates, and then I will push uh, my changes to to the repository. Uh, after this step, uh, we will have uh, in our code base for Python mentorship, uh, we will have uh, this folder assignment. Okay, this is, uh, we have separation. I will solve the, this later. So we will have assignment one and assignment two. In assignment two, I will add a description. Uh, I will do it later. So when you will check, you will have proper information. And basically from now, uh, when you want to solve assignment number two, uh, you can start fork this again. Uh, yeah, you can see our previous uh, members. You can fork this again and apply your changes apply your changes in a uh, folder solutions. So you, you will have this uh, def app. Let's add this uh, project structure so you will not uh, be confused. So I will do following. I will fix this uh, mismatch. Uh, let's move this to, to the solutions. So it is moved to solutions. So now I can remove this folder. Uh, we have this folder because of uh, merge. Uh, you can just skip this part. It's not uh, that important for for the process. So I will add uh, some. Uh, I will add some more uh, folders uh, and files to make it uh, more clean. So let's go ahead and uh, move to the assignments. Assignment two. Uh, we will have folder called solutions. Let's make it bigger solutions and also I will add uh, one more file uh, me .md. in this file I will include all the instructions again in text form so when you check you will have the proper uh, information so and basically when you will fork uh, copy paste this folder put it in solutions with your uh, username uh, you can see examples here uh, you can see that we have assignment uh, one and in solutions we have uh, solutions from different users uh, you can put uh, your solution also here with your name and copy paste this folder um, and then you can start doing this uh, assignment let's uh, add this uh, changes to uh, uh, to the repository uh, folder structure for 
Oh, wait, I need to add some file here. Uh, otherwise, it will not be shown in, uh, in, in GitHub. So, readme.md. Uh, please put your uh, changes in this folder. Enter this folder uh, with your name and uh, and source code uh, example so your name is it's, yeah, it's your username username and in this in this uh, folder uh, you will have uh, your source code uh, source code and for source code uh, you should use this uh, def from here uh, for source code please copy past uh, dev hub uh, version uh, zero one zero it is in directory uh, it is also also in directory okay uh, bup, 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 bup. As an example, uh, I will put this. Uh, as an example, I will put uh, my solution. Can I'm back? Uh, and my solution actually is the uh, is the uh, latest version of DevHub. So I will add latest version of DevHub as an example, so you can see how I did it. Uh, you can also see it uh, through the DevHub repository, but for any case, I will add it here so you can see example file structure. Uh, uh, let's let's do it. Uh, so let's uh, go to the DevHub. Mm -mm -mm. DevHub. Uh, code revolver DevHub. Uh, and then uh, I will have uh, another release. Draft a new release. Uh, tags. Yeah. I will have another uh, release, uh, which will be latest version of uh, two. It's the latest version of uh, DevUp. Um, and actually, in this version, you have a solution for task one. So publish release. Uh, then I will download this. Uh, and copy paste downloaded folder into the directory. Okay, uh, solutions, can I'm back. Uh, yep, let's move it here. Uh, and now, I want to have a source uh, root as my username. So that's the, uh, how you can do it. So basically, if you want to have a solution, you will copy paste this to your solutions folder and update it to your, to your username. Uh, let's commit all these changes, actually. Yeah, we didn't do it, so I will get commit. Uh, project, uh, not project, but director. Directory structure for assignment two, and now let's uh, let's uh, push it, and now you have uh, you have all these uh, updates in Python mentorship. So when you go to assignments, you have assignment number two. Uh, you have uh, our base code. You have uh, solutions, uh, and you have solution from me. In this solution, as I said, uh, it solves uh, only first uh, first task. But as I said, in uh, assignment number two, we have uh, in total five uh, in total we have five uh, tasks. So let's add them uh, submissions for assignment number two. It is submissions for assignment uh, number two, um, and. Uh, tasks within this uh, assignment. Uh, I will have all this detailed information in, in this uh, issue. So uh, 
Let's first uh, move them. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. This one. Let's first uh, copy paste all of them and then have a order. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. And this one. This needs to be first. So you will uh, do this, then you will do this, uh, this. Uh, actually, introduce the space model. You can do this one as a last step. Uh, so this will be probably second. Actually, you can define all these uh, steps as you want. Uh, but for now, I, I, I will just, just say default structure, but you can do it in any order. So task within this assignment, uh, it is all tasks. Uh, solution, solution, uh, solution uh, for task number one. Uh, you can uh, find here and the link. Uh, and link will be this one. So here you can find actually how I solved uh, the first um, as a task for this assignment. Uh, the solution uh, and uh, yeah, I will add more information, but for now that's enough. Uh, so that's our assignment number two. Uh, when you do this assignment or have a question, please add all of them here. Uh, you can also join our uh, discussion groups, but uh, this is source for all our this should be source for all, all our discussions related to assignment number two. I will add a uh, yeah, lab label, uh, it's assignment. Uh, that's basically it. I will, uh, as I said, I will update all these readme's uh, website and etc. etc. Uh, but for now, I want I want to give a short overview of assignment number two. So basically, as I said, assignment assignment number two is a Django related assignment. Uh, it will be based on the DevUp project. You can find this repository here. You can get uh, information about DevUp here. Uh, I will put a link to the uh, playlist with all information about the dev hub and Django. If you don't have any information on Django, you can check this video. I highly recommend that you check for these videos. Uh, and basically for assignment number two, uh, we have a Django project. It is in the folder uh, of assignment uh, number two. This is a base. So you need to copy paste this into your solutions, into the solutions folder. Uh, set the name to the folder as your uh, GitHub username. You can see example of my uh, solution. And and then uh, you need to solve uh, you need to solve uh, these tasks list of the tasks. So tasks for assignment number two is this uh, list. You need to introduce Django backend and frontend. You need to introduce that database model for classes, user register model, user login model. Uh, set up the Docker environment uh, with Django project with Postgres. Uh, this video explains a solution for this one. Uh, I did it for example. For next ones, you, you need to do it on yourself. But you, you will have uh, enough time to do it by, by yourself. But actually, if you follow this YouTube tutorials or process for DevHub, you will see that by time I will add all these solutions uh, on YouTube. So. You have enough time to solve it by yourself, uh, but after some time, I will add all the solutions uh, to the YouTube so you can check them. Uh, but I highly recommend that you first try to solve them by yourself. Uh, that's basically all uh, about uh, assignment number two. Uh, please uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe, uh, follow this uh, repositories. It will help a lot. So add stars and watch them also to DevHub. Uh, Always check uh, for new videos on DevHub because it will give uh, more information on Django, on Django tutorials. Uh, and also, yeah, put check links in description for all the links uh, I, I explained in this video. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in next video. Bye bye.